What's going on guys? So today I'm gonna check out this brand new ringside double end bag that I bought. My uh, old RDX one has just died about completely. You can see here the loop split all the way through the center. You see that? So I, I took a hole punch, I have a leather hole punch, and I punched holes on each side and then I tried zip tying it which the zip ties held, but then the leather tore through there also. So that's at the bottom loop. At the top, the, there were rivets, top and bottom. Rivets on this side broke, which I then replaced with one zip tie, which one zip tie was not strong enough, so then I, that broke. I replaced it with two zip ties. Those two zip ties held. But then the other side, both rivets on this side broke also, shooting the Double, uh, double end bag loose. So I ended up putting dual zip ties into this one here because I learned from the first one it takes more than one. And here you can see the leather on this loop is wearing pretty thin also. So it's only a matter of time until this one tore all the way through also. Um, I mean you can see that the bag itself is pretty solid. It's in pretty good condition. No fraying. The seams look good. But the loops, man, the loops failed, the rivets failed. I don't recommend this bag. I contacted RDX about it and uh, showed them some pictures of it. They didn't care. So I won't be buying from RDX again. Uh, so now we have this ringside one. I went much smaller because this bag was just really easy to hit for me. I like to be challenged and work on my accuracy and timing. So I've got this five inch peanut bag. I've used this before in the boxing gym, but I've never had one in my home. So I decided to go with this one. It was uh, pretty reasonably priced on Amazon, $49. Can't go wrong there. Hmm. Came with some rubber bungees. I don't think I'll be using these because I have my own set up in there already that I had from the other one. But uh, let's go ahead and stick that to the side. That's nice to have no matter what though. This is tiny, man. I'm gonna have fun with this one. Wow. So, uh, yeah, all right. This, this is nice. This looks like it's well constructed. I gotta be honest, this looks like it's better constructed than the uh, RDX one. I like the stitching. The loops are, man, they look very durable. Long loops, this looks good, I like this. This looks like it's gonna take a beating. So, uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, check that out. I like this little ball. Give you a little bit of uh, a comparison, a little side by side here. This is a medium sized double end, and this is a small. It's a big difference, boy. What? That's a big difference. I'm gonna like using this. All right. Same. I inflated the new double end bag, so if you'd like to see those next to each other, it's pretty cool. Here's the uh, old one versus the new one fully inflated. Pretty significant difference, but I've noticed that they're very similar in length, even though they're not similar in size. Overall length is about the same, so I think it's gonna work with my existing setup. Just a quick comparison. This is how it used to hang at this height. And you can see this is about the same. It's very, very close. So, this is a jump off. This is very thick. Wow, this is very thick. All right. That is on there good. That's solid. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, roll back so you guys can see everything that I'm doing here. Yeah, making videos is damn near as hard as boxing. I tell you, this is hard to do by yourself. So, 
for the bottom one at the bottom I do have another swivel with a snap that I can very easily put on and off that bottom eyelet I got an S hook attaching these two with another swivel and another thick S hook which I'm going to now open up to attach to the bottom of that so you see this will go right through this bottom loop very simple and then I grab my little snap swivel and there it is it's that easy So I'll grab the other bag. Show you guys one more time. Yep, that's occupying about the same amount of space. That's pretty much the same. significantly smaller than the other double end and uh yeah okay <laughs> okay i'm gonna have fun using this so let me put a few rounds into this and uh let you guys know that you guys know what i think um I think I might have a little bit too much tension on this, to be honest, because it's just really not traveling as much as I would like to see it travel. Even though I gotta tell you, it's, that's not bad, because you, you want to try to replicate being in the ring with somebody and their head only moves so much. And that's actually very difficult to hit. Um, Resecure that at the top. Yeah, this is wow. This is significantly more challenging to hit than the previous bag. I'm gonna have fun with this. So uh yeah, I'll get back to you guys on this. Alright guys, so I put a few rounds into this double M bag uh the night I bought it, uh and it's been a few days since, so I've gotten a good bit of use on it. There were some reviews saying that it was losing air pressure and that they had uh, people were having to inflate theirs. Um, mine's been good. I had to put a couple pounds into it today, but it hasn't been deflated. You know, people were saying that theirs was completely deflated. Um, mine wasn't. It just lost a couple pounds. And if you guys have, I mean, if you have something like this in your home, you should have an air pump. Uh, something like this here is like $10. I mean, I have a big compressor back there, but there's no point in firing that up for something like this, which was 10 bucks on Amazon and I just leave it on the shelf, it takes like 30 seconds to put a couple pounds into that. So it's no inconvenience whatsoever. The, uh, the bag is really well constructed. It's difficult to hit. It creates a, a challenging target. I got the five inch model, uh, already, as I said. So it is definitely, uh, it's gonna make you really focus on your accuracy. You're, you're really gonna have to work hard to touch this bag, especially in combination, because the bag, it moves. Uh, you can't lean hard shots into it. You you really have to work just to make contact, solid contact, and keep your form together. Um, the bag seems to be very well constructed. Uh, it, it feels solid, which was very surprising to me, at least for the size of it. You know, when I when I when I did hit it, it made contact. It it wasn't as if I was punching at nothing. I could I could feel a very solid uh, resistance from the bag. So. I'm very satisfied with it. It was like $39, something in the neighborhood there on Amazon. Um, they have it in five, seven, and nine inches, I think it was. Uh, I definitely would recommend it. Um, to be fair, the RDX bag did take about six months or so before it started to fall apart at the loops. So time's really gonna tell just how well made this bag is. But from what I can tell, looking at it and just seeing the differences between it and the RDX bag, it is definitely superior 
it's constructed far better. The leather's thicker, the seams look stronger. It just, it seems like a much better bag. So, so far overall, I'm satisfied with it. I would recommend it. Uh, I hope the video was helpful for you guys. If you're looking for a double M bag, consider this Everlast bag. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.